It must be Christmas in July because there is a package under this tree. Yes, sir. Neighborhood go-to guy. That's my package. But I really hope it's not these big fold Z paper towels inside. What could it be now? -na 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 -na. <gasps> a broken down chainsaw. Huh. Okay, guys. So in today's video, we have a McCullough chainsaw and the oil pump is not working. I have an old McCullough chainsaw that I couldn't get working and I'm hoping to swap out the old oil uh, pump from that and put it in this new one hopefully get it running. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to do it. So a quick tip before you get started on any project is have a camera ready. Take as many pictures as you can. Take some videos. Set things aside as you take them apart so when you go back to put it together you have everything in order. Here's the old McCullough saw and I'll put a card up above this if you didn't see that video and you want to take a look at that you can do that now. But this wasn't a bad saw. I mean, it was in pretty good condition, but I don't know if they didn't add the right um, oil mixture to it. it. This might be a 40 to one. They might've added a 50 to one, or possibly they ran it too lean and the piston got scored and it doesn't have the compression it needs to run again. So I'm hoping to pull parts off of this and put it to the one that we're working on now. What you'll do next is start removing all these T25 screws, or you can use a flathead too to get the cover off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you crack that loose and you'll be able to pick the whole cover up and you'll have to take the oil cap off too. And you can break that loose. Also, the uh, hand guard itself, and you'll need to take that out and just move that out of the way so you can get the cover up and out. And don't forget to take the two screws off, off the top cover plate that's attached to this side. You'll be able to break that off in. When the top cover is removed, reach in there with needle nose pliers and gently remove the two fuel lines that connect to the primer bulb. Remove the oil cap and then you'll need to finagle this cover around a little bit, twist it and turn it. It's hard to do with one hand and film but just keep twisting this around till you get it off the handle. And then you go ahead and remove that. If your oil tank still has oil in it, put the cap back on and tighten it down. That way none of it spills out. The oil pump sits below this, so we'll need to take this half inch nut off. Throughout this whole process, this might be the hardest step because this nut is on there tight. And if you don't have an impact to pull that off, you need a little bit of torque to really get that nut off, but luckily I have my impact DeWalt drill and it comes right off. Now they do make pullers to get this off, but I'm just going to lightly tap around it. As you can see, it didn't take much to break this loose. And we'll pull that off. And when you do pull that off, just be careful because there is a key in here. It's just a little piece of metal that sits right in there. That's the flywheel key. And right here is Oil fuel pump. pump. And to remove that, we got to take these three T25 screws out, disconnect the oil line, and we'll put it on this other saw. Okay, we get the uh, fuel tank assembly off to the side. We took out the three screws, and I forgot the other oil line that actually goes to the bar that needs disconnected, and we can take this oil pump off. And putting them side by side, they're identical. The only difference is on the old one, this one doesn't have a barrel. That's that white little notched out section there. And the grooves were, were uh, worn down and it doesn't spin the oil pump and that's why it wasn't pumping oil to the bar. So all we have to do is swap out this piece, hook it up, and that old saw that came in the box should be working again. Fantastic, we're halfway there. Now that we pulled our old, new oil pump, let's go ahead and set that back down on top, get everything nice and aligned. Then we're going to attach the bottom oil line and the top oil line. We can again bring this cover over and then put the three bolts back in. I almost put the flywheel on, but I noticed one of these guys was missing from the one that's getting fixed. So I just pulled one off of here, slapped it on here. Making sure the flywheel key is in, right here, we can go ahead and reattach the flywheel itself. And it's easier to do this when the magnets aren't lined up with this here, so just kind of offset a little bit. Set it down in there. And then go ahead and put the nut on and tighten it down. Once you've had all your screws back in, don't forget to put the top cover back on. 
Okay, after a long journey, we got everything back together. Let's go put it on the ground, fire it up, and see if we have oil coming out the side. Now this one didn't come with a chain, so we're not going to be able to check at the end of the chain for oil coming off. We'll just check the side and see if oil starts coming out. And if it does, we did the job right. <laughs> the oil's coming out all right we did our job right now it sounds like I have to adjust the uh, carburetor a little bit but that's probably another video as always hopefully you learned something valuable from this video take a second or two to subscribe hit the notifications button so you stay current on all my videos thanks for stopping by see you next time from neighborhood go-to guy